Hey guys. So I'm gonna do uh, some mileage at the Prince Albert National Park. I'm bringing my 12 and a half year old Husky Malamute mix. Uh, he's doing pretty well. I'm looking to do uh, 42 kilometers today and 35 tomorrow and 10 the next. And the only reason why I'm doing doing it like that is because that's the trail system that we have. We don't have a huge amount of long trails, unfortunately, in Saskatchewan. So I'm going to do these, take three days because that's what I have right now. And this is going to be my training for the next three days. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Lots of pictures. Beautiful out. Um, lots of water. I've got the King's Mirror right here. <clears throat> so I don't have to worry about water carries today. Um, lots of bear. Uh, the girl at the uh, kiosk when I paid said just be aware there's quite a few in the backcountry so this year <clears throat> I've seen some prints nothing nothing yet I'll keep making noise I didn't bring my bear bell this time and I think I'm gonna stop just because it's obnoxious um, as it is my backpack right now is driving me fucking nuts um, I've tried putting like a silicone spray in the, um, the metal. Didn't get rid of the squeaks. I gotta figure this out before the long trail because I'm gonna lose my mind listening to it. So, <laughs> anyways, I got three days, so I'm not gonna keep going right now. So, I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, so we did, well me and Luca, we got, we're almost done coming back out of the Grey Owl Trail. Um, we're at the uh, Chippewan Portage, so West Wind is three kilometers up that way, and then it's another couple of kilometers to the exit, but we're going to loop around to... Um, um, south end campground. Uh, so it's another kilometer and a half after we get back to the trail head almost. So, um, I wanted to do the 35 kilometer trail tomorrow, Elk Lake Trail. Um, we'll see how Luca is doing. I don't know if you can see him. He's, uh, it's pretty kaput. I mean, for 12 and a half years old, he's doing pretty damn good, but ultimately this is, it's all him. So it depends on how far he can go. If he looks like he's raring to go tomorrow, then maybe we'll try and we can turn back anytime. Um, if he's not up for it, I won't do it and I'll just go home. Ultimately this hike is his. So this is probably the last time he'll ever come out here to Grey Owl. He's 12 and a half, so by the, like, after I finish the Pacific Crest Trail next year, and then he'll be 14 and a half if he makes it um, the following summer, so probably a no-go. This is probably his last time. I'm not gonna lie, it's hard. 
So yeah, it's uh, we'll see how he's doing tomorrow morning. Hi guys. So we aren't going to do the 35, the elk raid, the elk trail today. Uh, Luca had a rough night last night. We did 42 kilometers. Um, so we did the Grey Owl. We walked all the way to Grey Owl and all the way uh, looped around to South uh, and Campground. Um, so he was up all night whining and licking his paws and he's sore today. Um, not too, too bad. He still, as soon as you put a leash on him, he thinks he's a puppy. Um, but I seriously don't think it would do him very good to do high mileage today. So, um, we are just cruising around the Prince Albert National Park and finding little trails. Right now I'm on the Narrows Peninsula Trail. It's only a three kilometer trail. It feels phenomenal to not have a pack on. <laughs> um, and he's loving it, licking his balls. See, he's happy. <laughs> and uh, I found a nice little bench here donated by these people. Thank you. Um, and another thing too is I, uh, didn't bring my, the right cord to charge my phone. So I've got about 13% and that's about it. So I'm not going to do too much of a video. I'm just, I'm taking pictures and just enjoying the peace and quiet. Here's my view. I love it. So just a picture of what I'm like. It's really humid too. It's already almost like 30 degrees, I think. Um, how methodical each step has to be. Look at the roots. The rocks, the roots. I know. I keep trying to pick up speed and it's not really worth it because I'm going to break an ankle. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm walking in. I'll get a good speed going and then all of a sudden I'll hit a bunch of trees and it's all root and rock. So it's either ankle breaker or you stub your toe and almost fall on your face. I've done a couple of those. So, yeah. Another thing I wanted to add to was um, when you're hiking with dogs, that it's no longer your hike. Check out the really cool red chair here. Neat! <laughs> um, yeah, so when you're hiking with your dog, it's not your hike anymore. It's theirs. Um, at his age, you know, I'm watching for dehydration, I'm watching for um, checking his paws more often. Um, just really paying attention to what he's doing. I know that sounds dumb, that it's a dog, but they're going to follow you anywhere, whether they think they can do it or not. Like, I guarantee you, Luca would try to go as far as I wanted him to, but it would kill him. You know, he's a senior, so... Um, yeah, so I'm calling this hike his, uh, for him. He's not feeling another 40-kilometer uh, day, so that's fine. I'm totally okay with this. And, uh, I don't know, I think he's he's doing pretty good, so... So yeah, that's all.